Hello everybody, happy Friday! Hope you're doing very, very well. And before I jump into the shirt opening, I thought I'd show you something very quickly. Now, those of you with a keen eye in the last video on Tuesday may have noticed something over my shoulder up there in front of the East Fife shirt. Now, I have it in my hands. It is here. It's a box. It's a pink box. Now, it's not a football shirt, so I will be quick. But if it's football related, and if it's pink, and it has that crest on, it could probably only mean one thing. Now we have trainers, sneakers, depending on what part of the world you're from, I suppose. I thought I'd quickly show you what I went ahead and bought. So we have there Club Crest. Yes, of course, it is Palermo. Not too unsurprising because Puma are the primary equipment supplier for the club, of course, um, picking up from Kappa from last season. So they've released this sort of special edition crossover tribute from Puma slash Palermo. I picked them up because, well, I don't know, actually. I think it's because I quite like the pink colour. I'm not going to wear these because, I, well, I don't want to ruin them. And also, I, I don't really think I can put off pink as a shoe. But I like the small detailing. So, like, on the inside of the sole, you've got the Puma Crest. Obviously, you've got it on the back there. Underneath this little thing there. A bit of text there. On the lace tips, Italian flag. On the actual laces itself, you might have a C, but it says Palermo FC. Small details and the material is quite good. I've actually never had Puma shoes before, so it's a shame I'm never gonna be able to wear them. Um, I might just try them on, see how they fit. So I know if I need to get a different size for shoes I actually want to wear. Um, but I thought it's quite cool. I like the box that it's arrived in. I'll keep them sort of fresh. I'm not anticipating them to be any value at all, really, but I just quite like what's going on. So, and plus, it makes the background look a little bit more interesting however we are not necessarily here for shoes we are here because i have a parcel this is one that i bought from vintage so god only knows what's gonna be inside um don't feel too bad if you don't know the shirt and the team because i'm not well i am 100 percent sure i know it is but it took me a long time because the seller didn't know who it was and all i could do was google the crest so let's just see what's inside and hopefully it is what it is so well, it looks promising anyway. Let's have a go. Make sure the tag is in here. We have a tag. It's flimsy, but it exists. Okay, then. So let's look at the rear, shall we? So it's this white and, well, a darker blue color. Darker blue sash running across. And we have some sponsors. We also have the uh, manufacturer of the shirt. It may be one that you're more, probably more familiar with the manufacturer than the club, I'd say. Um, though it's the first time I've ever seen this manufacturer in person. Uh, let's go around to the front. There we go. So it's a continuation of the color scheme and also certainly a continuation of those sponsors there. We also have this gentleman here, which I've not actually been able to find out quite who it is. Um, I'm thinking possibly it could be an indigenous persons, maybe a statue. Could also possibly Hulk Hogan wearing a bandana. Um, yeah, answer on a postcard if you're able to figure that one out. Um, other than that, there's not really anything else that I think from the photographs looked like it was going to be uniquely identifying. It is a medium that I bought. And one thing I have noticed is it's got some elastication to it. Reminds me of a Deodora shirt or a Kappa shirt from this sort of uh, mid-2000s, I'd say. And also it has those sort of reverse stitching there, which again, certainly thought of like a 2000s effort. Not really a fan of that, I'll admit. Uh, but let me just dress the mannequin and I'll explain to you who this right here is. Right here then. So there is a shirt. It fits quite nicely. With the elastication, it certainly helps. But it is from a certain part of the world where the shirts do run a little bit sort of bigger in the size. But who is this? Who is G-A-F? Well, the club name is Guarani Antonio Franco. Yes, I think that must be named after a gentleman. I'm thinking maybe this is who it is as well. Maybe that's Antonio Franco right there. Could be totally wrong. Uh, so this is their away shirt from 2017. So, you know, quite a few years old now. Um, back in the days when the team were somewhat semi-decent. So I mentioned I got this from Vinted and it, it cost me £12. £12 for this football shirt. £12 any football shirt is great, but for something as sort of obscure and unique as this, very, very good. First, when I start explaining to you where they are from. So the uh, club is from Pasadas, which is in the capital city of the Argentine province of Misiones, which is in the north of the country. So yes, it's an Argentinian team. You may have got the vibes from the number of sponsors, possibly the River Plate color scheme going on there, the shield style of the crest. 
but this is a team from Argentina. I don't quite know why it was here in the first instance, and certainly the fact that I've got it for a pretty decent price is very good. The only place I really saw this one for sale anywhere, I say for sale, it's sold out, it's on the website, was one that was selling it for about $80, and that would have been probably when the shirt arrived and was uh, debuted, which was in 2017. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's uh, a unique find. You never know what you find on these websites, how they got it. Who knows, but I have it now. Anyway, the club was founded in 1932, so it's quite an older one, and they currently play in the Torneo Regional Federal Amateur League, which is, I think, the fourth tier in Argentina. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't quite know how it works when it gets down to sort of third, fourth, fifth tiers in Argentina. Um, to be honest, it looks like it's some sort of knockout style format because looking at the Soccerware website, it seems to suggest that this club last year had five fixtures which um, you'd think that any football club would certainly have more than five fixtures, um, and they didn't even win any of those. So for their sake, let's hope they had some more games, and for their sake, let's hope they actually was able to register a, a victory there. When I was on the Wikipedia page, which doesn't have a lot of stuff going on, the last time they updated their league position was like 2015, and I think that was the second division, so quite clearly they've slid down the pyramid there. Uh, things are not going well. It's it's definitely a local, regional um, club there. Though if it's in the capital city, I don't know. Maybe the bigger team from the capital city is just sort of taking over this one here. Um, when it comes to the manufacturer, you probably may be a little bit more familiar than with the club, certainly. It's called Leon. If you type in Leon football shirts into Google, you get one result and one result only. So you have to be a bit more specific with it. So they are an Argentine sportswear brand. And they do actually have quite a catalogue of clubs in the top division, second division of Argentina. And they do make some good designs, some quite smart stuff. Like this shirt is, I mean, it's yes, it's sponsored and it's a very simple design, but the fact that that's there is quite cool. Uh, the one thing that stopped me usually were either the price, which this definitely is the opposite of that, whether or not it had the tags, which this one does have the tags, and also the styling of the shirt. So obviously I've highlighted that it's an elasticated shirt. Some people probably prefer that. For me, I'm not overly keen in it, but I suppose the fact that pretty much everything is screen printed will mean it should last. The crest is like a felt transfer. Not a fan of felt much. And also the, the um, manufacturer sort of logo is a felt transfer. So it's a relatively cost-effective way of doing a shirt which is not too unsurprising if it's a team that's lower down the league pyramid. But there we go. It's a bit of a random one, isn't it? But to pick it up for a low price like that, it just shows you you should sort of keep an eye on what's going on. And I suppose it's one of those ones where if you were to get it for this price, you could probably sell it for a little bit more money as well. But I'm going to be keeping this one because it satisfies the criteria. So there we go. Another Argentine team. I don't know how many of I've got, but I don't have I don't have loads. I, wouldn't, I need to add some more, don't I? It's just they don't pop up too often in the UK to buy but that was it really I suppose um, next week well I've got plenty of shirts to show you maybe I'll sort of break into one of the parcels that has more than one and we can just sort of go through those uh, I have some stuff still outstanding but um, yeah yeah we'll, we'll get through it it's going to be a nice simple year I don't even have to worry about buying shirts for a while but that's it really uh, I hope you have a great weekend head uh, thank you as always for watching my videos and I'll see you on Tuesday goodbye